This video is going to show you how to import a transcript into Reporter Edition and then sign the transcript and also how to send the transcript. Um, for this example, we're going to be using a test transcript called Gil Bauer. If we open up the text or ASCII file, I created a signature line down at the bottom since this one didn't have it, but it will serve our purpose for this demonstration. Um, the first thing we'll do is open up Reporter Edition and we will sign in with our username and password. The first thing you will want to do is click on the inbox of the agency that you want to send it to. Um, this is where we're going to be importing the transcript into Reporter Edition. If you have more than one agency listed, make sure you are on the correct inbox so you are sending it to the correct agency. One thing I find helpful is you can minimize the inbox and send items for agencies that you aren't currently working on, and that can avoid some confusion when you are trying to import the transcript. Um, so with the inbox selected, I'm going to hit the Add Transcript button. I'm going to browse out to where the transcript is located and hit open. Then I will hit next. This is where you can set how many lines per page you have. I know the standard typically is 25, but depending on where you're located or the agency, you can change the line numbers. Um, you can also change which page you want the line numbers to start on. The other option, if you don't have line numbers currently in your transcript, is to select the advanced options. If you wanted to have line numbers in your transcript but they weren't currently um, in the transcript, you could select this top option, which is this file has no line numbers at all, and then the bottom option, which is apply the line numbers the pages without them. And so what that is doing is telling the software that you want to apply line numbers, but this file currently does not have any. Um, these other boxes, you can skip a certain amount of pages that don't have line numbers. Um, you can also exclude those pages from the page count, and you can also set which page um, the line number should stop on. Since my transcript does have line numbers, I'm going to leave all of these blank. Um, this will also include the page numbers. It can apply um, page numbers for you, and it can also preserve headers and footers if you do have those on your transcript. I'm going to hit Next. Sometimes you might get a message similar to this one um, where it's saying that a certain page doesn't have the required amount of line numbers, um, you can just hit ignore on those messages. You can take a little preview of your transcript before you finalize the import. Um, you can hit next. With the fact and witness, the only thing you need to have filled out is the last name of the witness. Um, but you can fill out as much information as you want. For this demonstration, I'm just going to leave the last name as is. If you have other transcripts you wish to import, you can hit the Again button, which will take you back to the beginning of the process of browsing out to where your transcript is located. If it's just the one transcript, you can hit Close. And here we can see the transcript is now successfully imported. Um, to sign the transcript, we are going to highlight the transcript and click Sign. One thing I recommend always doing is pressing this View button, and this is going to show you where the transcript is going to sign or put your signature. Um, if we look down at this lower right corner, we can see that it currently is on page 31, line 6, column 1. If you're 
signature line was further out or you didn't want to start right at column one, you can change these. So now it's page 31, line six, column six. Once you have this information, you can update it here. So here's page 31, line six, column six. And then you will enter in your credentials to sign the transcript. One thing to notice is the transcript icon changed from a blank sheet of paper to a sheet of paper with a hand that looks like it's signing it. That's how you can tell that your transcript has been signed. We can also scroll down to the very bottom and I can see now I had changed it from column one to column six, so it's not right at the very beginning of the line. And we can see the signature applied with the signature seal. You can sign the transcript more than once. I will do that for you now, and I'm going to change it just to a random page. So if we, if the signature line wasn't on the last page and it was in the middle of the transcript, you could change it to line or page 19. Um, line 615 and column 10. So that should sign the transcript right in the middle of the word you on page 19, line 15. I would enter in my credentials again. And I will hit OK. The icon won't change, uh, but if we scroll down to page 19, we can see my signature is applied. Um, if you do sign the transcript more than once, the signature seal won't appear on any other signatures besides the first one. Another note is you can sign a transcript up to eight times if you needed to. Once it is signed, we can then hit the Send button. And you'll want to make sure it's sending to the correct agency. You will put in your credentials, and then you'll hit the Send button. Um, another option is if you didn't want to sign the transcript by hitting the Sign button, there, you can sign it while sending it by clicking the Sign Transcript box. And it's the same process as hitting the uh, Sign button. This will just do everything in one step. I'm going to uncheck it since I already have signed my transcript twice. And I'm going to hit the Send button. Um, I don't have a turn-in sheet assigned to my mailbox. This is something that's set on the agency side. If they do require a turn-in sheet, you would want to hit the Browse button, fill out the turn-in sheet, and send it to the agency. Um, this is asking if I want to continue without a turn-in sheet. I'm going to say yes. And now that transcript is sent to my agency's mailbox. Um, one other thing is we can look and see that it was sent through our sent items. Um, this icon was just a blank piece of paper that will indicate that it was not signed. So in the past, I had sent one to myself and did not sign it. And I can tell I didn't sign it with the piece of paper icon instead of the paper in the hand. And that's it. That's how you import a transcript, you sign it, and you send it to an agency.